walk out at the end, they'll be like, oh, I wonder what that feels like. <laughs> We've known each other for such a long time. Do you remember when we first met? At the Met, yeah. Yeah. I asked you if you wanted to do something with us. Yeah. Didn't think I was serious. I definitely didn't <laughs> think you were serious. I was like, what? There's no way Tommy wants to do something with me. And then we talked again. It was actually next event I saw you and you, you said it a few times. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe he really means it. I really meant it. <laughs> I didn't take it seriously the first time you said something to me. Well, I was um, looking at what you were wearing. Yeah. Thinking, okay, well, he's not only a pro athlete yeah, I and, and a race car driver, he's got real style. That's the one thing I, I always just remember, you always your, your smile and just how positive you are because I feel like I have had that experience, particularly like in my racing world, but don't get that very often. So I really appreciated your energy. And we've been friends since? We have. For me, growing up, I remember pictures of me as a kid wearing Tommy clothes. I remember buying like hip hop magazines and seeing, you know, these artists that I looked up to are heavily influenced by hip hop and seeing you all over pop culture and, you know, dressing all these amazing uh, artists. I remember seeing some of the work you were doing. I was like, I would love to work with Tommy. Like that was a dream. And it was, but there was no way that I was, you know, I couldn't believe that that would be a, a reality for me. And then we met and then we started this partnership and we did our collection. And that moment like here was, was very, very surreal for me. And I'm like, it would never have happened without you. So I'm so, so grateful forever. We're, grateful. I'm grateful for our friendship and I'm grateful that you actually agreed to do it. And everybody asked me, how, did, how was it? And I said, Lewis knew exactly what he wanted to do. Yeah. You had all of your own ideas. Yeah. Wow, I was like, this is my big moment. I've got to come up with like- You did it. I remember, coming, really I remember it. What, having like the first meeting with, with the, the, the team and like, they came up with some clothes, but I remember coming with a suitcase. Okay, hey, there's this jacket. I would love to do it in my own way. And we did it. <laughs> yeah, we did. And I just remember walking because it was on the river here on the Bund. Yeah. Such a big show. It was um, a great show. But all the shoots, all the people I got to work with, it was honestly, it was like one of the greatest periods of time in, in my career. Um, so. The velour yeah. tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And remember the, the other show we had was in London. Yeah, we had a lot of good shows. Yeah. And then the great party we had in uh, New York, which then I flew to Singapore. The next day, I think. Yeah, yeah. and then everyone was like, oh, Lewis can't be doing this traveling, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I remember. And then I did like, supposedly they call it one of my best qualifying laps ever. So, but that was because of the vibe that we got. Well, I think also you were excited about life. I mean, just yeah. excited that you could be so many different things. Yeah, I think it was really just about like, for, for once being able to, you know, creatively express myself, you know, and you gave me the platform to be able to do that. Cause like for one, you can't, it's so, the moment you step out of the comfort circle that everyone's in, there was just so much pushback. But now fashion's, fashion's in. Everyone's, everyone's getting fashionable in, in, in the sport because of what we did. Everybody. Yeah. If you were to start fresh in a different industry, what would you choose and why? I think I'd want to make films. Really? Yeah. What kind? Maybe documentaries on people I really think are interesting and great. Yeah. Love that. Because so you know I, that's I what I'm docs. doing at the moment. I'm doing one too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, crazy. The first movie we're doing is the Formula One movie with Brad. Yeah. Pitt. Yeah. But my goal is definitely like tell stories that can move the needle and particularly from like diverse backgrounds. So that's like what I'm that's now so looking good. into. So, so good. So I love movies and film and, yeah. and docu, doc, so um, that's something I'm really excited about. You have such an inspiring, relentless energy. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you going each day? I love life. I'm very curious and I like to do things that have never been done before in our business. Mm. And I keep thinking about what's next and what is next. Yeah. And I really believe that looking into the future and figuring out what could be next that has never been done before is the most motivating thing. Well, it was 1985 when you started this company. Yeah. What month was it? Do you know what, it was at the start of the year or what? I signed my deal in 1984 okay. and I started designing the clothes in 84. Okay. But we started delivering the clothes February 85. Okay. Same because you're an 85 me. baby. I am. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're <laughs> still a young kid. <laughs> you're still young. I feel young, but this, you guys keep me looking fresh and feeling young. So and whenever I see you wearing the clothes, it's like, you know, you can wear anything. 
You can wear anything you want. Yes, and you choose to wear mine a lot of the time. And it's like, you see, well, we, we posted. We're, yeah, we're, we're so proud. Each other. No, so proud. I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. If you weren't doing what you're doing now, what would you be doing? <laughs> uh, I think, like in my head, there's just, there's just, I'm firing on so many cylinders. Like, okay, I want to do this, but then I don't finish that. And I want to start over here. So I think I'd be trying to figure out how to ground myself and um, slow down. I think, honestly, working within design teams is one of my favorite things. And when you do work with creative individuals, they pull things out of you that you didn't even know you had within yourself. And when you start something from scratch and then it turns into this silhouette, this, 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 a look, and you're like, wow, I was, I was a part of that. And when we did those shows, I remember- it, You I remember, had Naomi on one side and yeah. you had her on the other side. I know. And you're parading down <laughs> the runway in, uh, was it the, uh, the museum in London. Yeah, for me, I was like, I was, I was watching your shows. I'd go to your show. Before, yeah. <laughs> and you know, when you when you walk out at the end, I'll be like, oh, I wonder what that feels like. And I got that moment with you. <laughs> you had so, a few of them. Yeah, that was yeah. really, really cool. Um, and it's something to be proud of. But obviously within my team, there's like so many people to make that possible. Um, so I was grateful to be a part of the chain. Really, really appreciate your friendship. And you too. And love the fact that you agreed to do it with me because it was a life changer. Wow. A game it changer. A, it changed my life too. So thank you, brother. Very proud. Appreciate it. Love you. Love you, brother.